Hello, my soccer universe. You very well knew that he cannot have Messi, have all the attention. And so, um, one of the crazier transfer windows in recent memory uh, has another storyline added with Cristiano Ronaldo moving from Juventus to Manchester United. That hit me yesterday. In the evening I was working on my Europa League and Conference League um, um, draw analysis and so on in the evening. You will get this today a little bit later as well, uh, should you be interested. And then, you know, I, I was thinking about, yeah, I saw the, I mentioned yesterday in the draw, there were the links with Ronaldo to Manchester City and PSG. I thought, you we get another Messi v Ronaldo matchup. Ta 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 ta, and then I thought, yeah, this might actually move fast. Let's check. And then I see the headlines Ronaldo moved to Manchester United. Uh, what? How did that happen? Not that it doesn't make any sense, but that was not really on the cards, was it? So, yeah, I found this rather interesting. Let's put it that way. Um, and I think of all the moves that I would imagine for Ronaldo to have made away from Juventus, I have to say that this is, now taking dream moves aside, this is probably my second favorite. Uh, or, 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 or the only one that I thought would have been uh, even better would be if Ronaldo would have moved uh, to Sporting Lisbon. Uh, that I think I would really have enjoyed even more but nonetheless i think this is a great 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 move for his legacy i think uh because if he would have gone to city not sure how many people would have been happy with that so uh the story goes that and you know this is now i heard tits uh, bits and pieces tidbits and pieces uh, here, here and there's a story was that uh, we know that Ronaldo uh, actually s was thinking, seeking to move away from Juventus because he didn't see a chance of winning the Champions League at all. Uh, and I think ev everyone would agree with, with that and also the Juve Pro project now he's on his, he's again back to Allegri and I think Allegri will not be too unhappy to not have uh, Ronaldo because he's kind of taking apart his more collective style of playing. He tried it for one season and to be honest, it didn't work out all that well, didn't it? The first season, although that, that, that was the best Juve, Juve season of the three where Ronaldo was. So uh, then he was sh uh, shopping around. I mean, uh, even, and that's the, the potentially the last piece of this crazy transfer uh, we, we know maybe if Mbappé is now really going for Real Madrid, maybe PSG could have had Messi and Ronaldo. Although that would have been maybe a little bit too much. Then he, uh, who else can afford him? Manchester City, yeah. They didn't get Kane, which was kind of this piece of the puzzle. They need a goal, goal, goal scorer. The problem is Ronaldo is very, very much a Manchester United legend. So uh, sending uh, him there might have tarnished his la legacy to a point where I don't think he would have enjoyed it because he, he would have lost... Uh, the love that he so much craves from the United fa fan base. And uh, Ronaldo cares very much about himself and about his trophies, but I think what he ultimately cares most about is that he's loved by the supporters. That, I think, is the biggest uh, dry driver. That's why he went to Juventus. There was no other reason. When Juventus wanted to have this player, they thought this was the missing piece in the puzzle. And to be honest, in the season after which he moved to Juventus, I honestly think that probably he was that missing piece, the it factor. The problem was that it did not work out within the system, and then they tried to, uh, and then you and you and, and, and Juventus tried to hit the reset button, and I think they are still not quite done with that. And so Ronaldo, although he held up his part of the deal by scoring enormous amounts of goals for Juve, well, ultimately, I think it has to be said as a, on a sporting level, it was a failure, not on a commercial level. I think this did huge things for Serie A and also for Juventus themselves. So yeah, uh, that we probably have to talk about that move um, as, uh, as well, but, but let's first finish, finish, finish the story. So uh, ba basically with that city move, he would have 
kind of hurt his le legacy. Seemingly some former teammates, all Manchester United teammates, uh, also working for the TV kind of channels, kind of call him and said, you can't do that. You need to go to the real team in Manchester. And um, so he did. And the Glazers made it happen. Like PSG with Messi, they made it happen really, really, really quick. Now, I think they are, and having talked about the Glazers, we'll go to Juventus towards the end and, 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 and the impact. Having talked about Glazers, I think this for them, uh, this transfer window, I think Manchester United with that tra tra transfer gets for me the silver medal in the transfer window. Uh, PSG being the first and then uh, you, uh, United se se second with the players they brought on board, Sancho, Varane and now Ronaldo. I think uh, this greatly improves their squad. And also... I don't think there will be many fans now protesting because adding this piece to the puzzle to me means that now uh, Manchester United really can challenge for titles. I think uh, before that I thought Manchester United might get a title here or there if it's if things fall fall the way. Adding Ronaldo and I know he's a 37 year old, but this is similar. I find a similar system with Ibra joining Milan, Ronaldo joining Manchester United, and you get a different player. You get now a pure goal scorer, one that will get his 20 goals. That can prove the difference in all those pesky games where you just couldn't, you know, like Southampton or all these games that you could not win. You did well against City, but against the, this is the spark that might set Manchester United now really on a trajectory to really challenge for a title. And now I think it's a we have to see today Chelsea and uh, Li uh, Liverpool are playing. I'm actually at this moment not so sure about Liverpool and, and, and anymore because with that Lukaku and um, Ronaldo transfers, uh, the two of them might have overtaken Liverpool. I think so. Um, so yeah, immediate transfer and as I said, fans will be happy. I don't think the Glazers will see many protests uh, coming that soon their way because now they are caring about the team and they are getting the superstar again only 37 year old but a big one so impact on united i think it's almost a no lucy situation i think i heard one very interesting tidbit and that was that number seven cannot cannot be taken from cavani to give it to ronaldo so i'm curious what number he will choose i have a feeling it will be 77 that might be the number he has to choose if they don't make any arrangements with the league or whatsoever the premier league will gain a veritable star and no player in the premier league has the same cloud as ronaldo and that makes manchester united who already are a huge force but that puts them among the big boys again i said it now uh curious we have to talk a little bit about the juventus angle, angle as well because i think that for the league it will hurt to lose the big star in ronaldo however um what the league now has is a balance that actually will make viewers that really like Serie A watch anyway. You will not convince uh, players that only uh, uh, viewers that only go for the stars, but for viewers that like action, you, we have lots of goals. We have now a very competitive league overall. Uh, we might get a compelling title race. So there's a lot there. Um, but you lose a lot of attention. That is for certain. However, you know, Italy having won the Euros, I, I think Serie A will hurt, but will not hurt uh, as much. Curiously, I actually think that Juventus might actually be better off without him. You have this, uh, there was always a little bit drama uh, around him. Uh, coaches were always a little bit held prisoners because Ronaldo wants to play, needs to play. He needs a certain term to term, term service. Yes, he pays back in dividends but i think allegri will not be too unhappy and also juventus will now have moved on his salary which also will help them uh build and move forward and get competitive again because let's face it they were not competitive so i actually think this move in many ways is a win-win uh for the clubs involved not for the Serie A. I think Serie A and La Liga really hurt with the movement of the superstars. Hold your breath, we have three more days. Um, we hear Mbappé to Real Madrid. 
could happen, although it makes next to no sense in any regard, except that the little Frenchman it gets a little bit too ego driven in my uh, for my liking. And yeah, uh, we have a messy debut uh, this weekend potentially for PSG. So there are loads of things happening uh, already, but I think we have not heard. I wish that we heard the last of this transfer window because it is really a lot to take. But yeah, it makes it exciting. I think uh, to me, Premier League might be still out of reach for uh, United, but potentially there. Uh, but I think any of the other competition, I think Champions League is Champions League. I could see United winning with Ronaldo up there, definitely. They are now among the contenders for me, personally. So let's see. Uh, have you ever had a transfer? I cannot remember such a crazy transfer window where not necessarily that the uh, big names have always moved. But a month ago, you could not, maybe you could see that Ronaldo wants to leave. You could not see Messi really leaving, although he was out of contract. But uh, it was such a, a done deal that he will stay at Barra Barra. So within a month, the two biggest stars that the game still has, not necessarily the best players, but the two biggest stars moved their clubs and it went like that. And I think we are not done it. We had the Kane saga. Is Manchester City the lose of the transfer window? All questions. Please leave a comment below. Let me know your, your thoughts on the entire uh, Ronaldo move. I said I need to make a Ronaldo video. I made a, a messy vi vi video. Uh, this Ronaldo just uh, came so out of left field. It hit me. It only hit me this morning. You got to do a, a video about this because this is another move that you can that the dad, dad didn't expect. So yeah. In any case, drop a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.